Hi, I'm makeup artist Kerry Lou, and today I'm going to show you how I apply my makeup while wearing my glasses. My face is moisturized and I have a little eye cream on to start. You don't want to wear anything heavier than you need. So if your skin is in pretty good shape, why not opt for a tinted moisturizer? I like this one, it's by Laura Mercier in beige, or you can use a BB cream. Um, if you do have some blemishes, you might want to go straight for um, a heavier foundation. I always like to start at the areas where I need the most coverage. I'm going to start by using my fingers and then blend more perfectly with my foundation brush. I have a little rosacea here on my chin that I have to get, around my nostrils. Almost everyone has some redness around the nostrils to cover. The brush I'm using is synthetic, which is effective when applying liquid foundation and cream makeup because these hairs aren't going to suck up all the product, making them tough to clean later. As I get to the eye area, I'll lift my glasses and blend some product into that area. I don't have to take it all the way to the lash line yet, because I'll be applying some under eye concealer also. Okay, so now that I have a nice even coverage all over my face, I'm going to focus on those areas that need a little bit more help, like the dark spots here, a uh, little rosacea, under eye circles. So this is, uh, this is a little cover-up stick by Clay Depot, and I'm going to start by using this under my eyes. So we'll just raise the glasses, and I'm going to start in this area here, which is always a little bit darker. That's true with most people. It's a little bit darker in this area. I'm working up here a little bit and feathering out towards the end. I'm going to tap it a little bit with my finger, taking it up to the lash line. I'm going to take my glasses off for a second. And now I can feel where it's going. Let's put my glasses on to see if it's okay. And you can even reach the brush under your glasses. You see, because it's a nice flat brush, so it fits in really nice there. Now that I have a light, even coverage all over my face, I'm going to focus on the spots that need more coverage, like the rosacea and the dark spots. I'm using a concealer stick from Clay Depot in beige. It's a little pricey, but it does last a long time. I like to use a lid primer. This one is by Smashbox. It's called Smashbox Photo Finish Lid Primer. It will help keep your eyeshadow on longer and it makes your eyeshadow so much smoother to apply. I'm going to actually take my glasses off for this and I'm going to kind of feel where it's going. You'll be surprised how you can get used to doing this. So apply it with the applicator it comes with. Take it all the way from your lash line to your eyebrow and don't play with it too much because you do want a good layer there. Okay, and that's it. And I'm just going to look down for about 10 seconds to let it dry. Now I'm going to get the next one. Okay, so next I'm going to fluff this uh, white colorless translucent powder all over my face including under my eyes. This is going to set the foundation and set the under eye concealer so they don't crease and it will make it last much longer all day. It's going to make it a lot easier for you to apply your bronzer and your blush too. I'm using a bronzer now. It's better to use a healthy shade of bronzer instead of a contour powder. Contour powders have more gray in them. They are meant for creating shadow. If I did that, I would end up looking gaunt. Bronzers are nice because they give you a nice healthy glow and they do shape your face at the same time. This is one of my favorite blush brushes. It's so soft. It's made of real hair. And the reason why that's important is because it really grabs the products, the pigments that you're using and it deposits those pigments, the color, exactly where you want it, a little bit more accurate. So next I'm going to apply a nice perky rosy color on the apples of my cheeks, just to pop up your cheeks and that's where you put it. If you're a little heavy handed and you generally apply too much blush, if you put your brush 
in your white translucent powder first. It kind of dilutes the pigment a little bit. Here's the tricky part, the eyes. Today I'm going to use colors from the Naked palette. And uh, don't worry, this isn't going to be as scary as you may think. We'll raise our glasses. Actually, you can even take them off if you feel comfortable enough. I am now blind. <laughs> I'm going to pick up Skim, Urban Decay color. And I'm going to take it right across my eyelid. I'm sweeping across the eyeshadow from the lash line right up to almost to the brows, I would say. Remember, less is more. If you like, just put the glasses on, check what you've done so far, and if it's all good, we'll go on to the next stage. Okay, so now I'm going to shape the eyes a little more, and for that, I'm going to use Frisk. And I'm actually going to reach into the eyeglass area, into my contour, which I don't really have. I have hooded eyes, so I have to kind of fake a contour. You can take your glasses off and kind of feel where you're going because if you're using neutral tones, you're not going to get into too much trouble with it. So I'm starting at the lash line. It's a little bit darker there. And then I'm feathering it out and then doing a little bit of a windshield wiper action here. And check. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now, what you're going to find is that when you wear glasses, um, you get a natural shadow cast over the upper half of your eye. So you don't even have to go that dark. We're going to move on to eyeliner. Now, I know that's terrifying for somebody who wears glasses, but believe me, practice makes perfect. So I'm going to use a uh, gel liner because it's less messy. If you used a liquid liner, and you wear glasses and you're kind of doing it without looking, you might be in trouble. You load your brush up a little bit. I like to even put a little bit on my hand, just kind of smoothing it into the brush. I'm going to remove my glasses. Now, I can feel where my lash is. So the brush is kind of resting on my lashes and it's touching the skin, but it's touching the lashes too. That way you don't get a gap between the liner and your lashes. And I'm just softening it with my finger a little bit. And if you do make a mistake or you want to make it a soft line as opposed to, you know, a hard sharp line, just smooth it like that. Uh, let's put the glasses on and check the work. That's nice and subtle. I like that. So I'm going to do the same thing with the other eye. Now, you don't necessarily have to even take the glasses all the way off. You could raise them a little, like so, and you could put the eyeliner brush in there. That way you kind of see. I'm making a little bit of a mess up of this one, but that's okay because I have my Q-tips handy. I prefer doing it without looking, really. I mean, uh, without the glasses on completely and just soften it a little with the Q-tip. Oh, okay, that's better. You see, I made a little mistake, but I corrected it with the Q-tip. There, I can't see you. Ah, now I can. This is an eyeliner pencil by MAC. It's called uh, Earthline and it doesn't smear or smudge. I really love it. This is like a taupey shade and I'm going to apply a little on my lower lash line. Uh, around the corner here, I'm kind of losing some lashes. So that's why I like to fill in with a little bit of taupe liner. And you see, I don't even have to lift my glasses. Oh, that's perfect. I don't like too much underneath the eye. Just a little bit of taupe, I find works perfectly. Next, we're going to curl the lashes. Remove your glasses. Then you're going to feel where they are. And if you use a magnifying glass, that's going to help. And um, if you're a little nervous, don't get too close to the root. Although I'm so used to this, I can do it by braille. So I, I'm pushing down and then I'm releasing, pulling out a little bit and curling in another place further down the lash, all the way out to the tips. And that way you get a nice curve as opposed to a sharp L shape. If you do it in one place, 
Your lashes are going to look like uh, an L. They're going to flip right up. Not a good look. Next up, mascara. Today I'm using L'Oreal Voluminous, although I do use other brands occasionally. Remove the glasses. Now, don't get too close to the root in case you poke yourself in the eye since you're not wearing glasses, but you can kind of feel, if you do this a lot and you practice, you can feel how close you're getting to the roots of your lashes. Just kind of wiggle it around, make sure all those small ones are covered. Okay, just check it. If you get any clumps, it's a good idea to have a little disposable mascara wand handy, and then you can just run it through your lashes and separate them. That's good. Now try the other one. Let's go back for a second coat because sometimes you don't get all the tiny little lashes. So if you just give it a moment to dry in between coats. There. If you like to wear mascara on your lower lashes also, that's fine. Some people don't like to because they feel like it can smudge underneath. But um, go lightly and I like to use the disposable lash wand. So I just raise my glasses a little bit and I can see my lashes very well like this actually. And just gives them a little bit of color. There. And if you make any mistakes, there's always your Q-tip standing by to help you. Okay, time for eyebrows. Uh, this is Makeup Forever Aqua Brow. It's uh, waterproof, it's good for covering gray eyebrows, and it's good for filling in little gaps where they don't grow anymore. You start with an angle brush, and I'll start by making the shape on the underside of the brow, like that, just to start establishing the shape a little bit and brushing it through. And I do have a few really light colored silver hairs there, so I'm going to get them. I like to color my eyebrows. Uh, I have a video on that uh, showing you how to color your eyebrows using just for men. Um, it's really easy and it only takes a minute, but I didn't do it this week. So now I'm covering them with this product. Make sure I haven't missed any spots. Good. See the difference? And I didn't even have to remove my glasses for that. Let's get the other eye. <music> Lastly, I'll do my lips, the finishing touch. Once I've done my lips, I don't like to have to keep touching them up. So I like to use Makeup Forever Lip Liner Pencil in 3C. It's a natural color, but it really defines your lips well. It doesn't feather and it lasts for ages. You can go over your whole lip if you like, but I'll just blend it into my lip using my finger. A lovely complimentary lip gloss to wear with this liner is Makeup Forever's Super Lip Gloss. You will see in my other videos that I use lots of different brands. Do you love this lip brush? The cap extends the length of the handle. Isn't that great? It's from my brush line. I hope you like this tutorial. Remember, practice makes perfect. If you enjoyed watching this, I hope you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks. That was a busy day, but big night tonight. So I have to switch this makeup from daytime to nighttime. But first things first, follow me.